Today we are discussing Jablonski diagram. Here we will see what happens when the molecule is photo excited. So before we start discussion of Jablonski diagram, you should know certain terms or you must be familiar with the diagram. Now you can see here S0, S1 and S2, these are all singlet electronic excited state and for excited state S1 there is a complementary T1 that means triplet excited state for S2 that is T2 is another excited state so for every excited singlet state there is a excited triplet state that you must understand first of all now these singlet excited states are actually there uh, in this singlet excited state with the help of these red lines vibrational energy levels are given here also vibrational energy levels are given in fact vibrational energy level in between vibrational energy level we can show here relax uh, rotational energy levels rotational energy level but to avoid the complication I have skipped that part so you remember this S1, S1, S2 and S0 are singlet excited state S1 and S2 and T1 and T2 are triplet excited state and these red lines means vibrational energy level so now we'll start our discussion our molecule is here in this singlet excited state it is in here ground state that means you can see the spin of electrons so when it absorbs energy from the uv or visible region it undergoes electronic excitation that means one electron is excited here but suppose this electron is excited here this electron so its spin is not changed now the spin of this electron and this electron is similar to the ground state electronic uh, ground electronic state now see what happened when molecule absorbs energy its electron is excited from the ground electronic energy level to the higher energy electronic uh, electronic energy level now molecule is not going here that it is not exactly here it may distribute in or among the different vibrational energy levels so the molecule may come here here or here or even molecule may absorb extra energy and will uh, will go to the higher electronic energy level but when it is going to the higher electronic energy level there is a chance of dissociation of that molecule into atoms so that excitation is not useful for photochemical reaction so we are not interested in that kind of excitation or the molecule is here higher electronic ex, uh, electronic uh, energy level so it may drop down to the this electronic energy level that is shown by using a c process c process means here it is called internal conversion so you remember now molecule is going from here from here to here or maybe in the higher electronic energy level but very soon it will drop down to this s1 state right so this is called internal conversation or some molecules as i have mentioned here may go to the different vibrational energy level within within this electronic energy level so here and here they also come down to the ground state i mean ground state vibrational energy level this is called vibrational relaxation so i have explained process c and process b now our molecule is here from here the molecule may drop down to the ground state electronic energy level again the c is happening in this case its energy or it is having certain energy that energy is given to the another molecule after uh, collision so 
uh, or in the form of heat that energy is transferred from one molecule to the another molecule and the molecule going back to its original energy level without doing anything without photochemical reaction so this is another possibility in case of some molecules the molecule from here may emit that extra energy in the form of light that is called fluorescence here process f is explained fluorescence so that energy is emitted in the form of light and the molecule is going back to its original state now one more chance one more uh, possibility is the molecule which is here may go to the triplet state complementary triplet state or associated triplet state but this conversion from singlet to triplet is forbidden according to the selection rule but if some vibrational energy levels are actually equal to the energy of s1 then only this kind of conversion is possible so this is very very useful conversion the molecule from s1 is now going to the t1 or the vibrational energy levels of t1 this is called isc isc means i am here inter system crossing this is inter system crossing so i am explaining process e the molecule is now coming here in the triplet state when molecule is going from singlet to triplet state its electronic spin is now changed it is equal to the spin of its partner electron now these two electrons have a similar spin that's why this is called excited triplet state so if the spin is not changed then it is called singlet excited state now the molecule is converted from singlet to the triplet state where the gene uh, spin is changed now the molecule is again going back to the lowest possible vibrational energy level that again this is uh, process b so the many time that process b is happening this is called vibrational relaxation or you may call it as vibrational cascade now the molecule is here in the triplet excited state the life span of the uh, molecule here is more so because of that molecule can undergo two uh, processes one is its chemical reaction that is called photochemical reaction and another yes process means photosensitization so after that uh, after finishing all process i will explain the meaning of photosensitization one more possibility is the molecule may emit that external energy extra energy in the form of light but they this is this time is called phosphorescence so some molecules can show that phosphorescence phenomenon but the wavelength of phosphorescence again i want to compare fluorescence and phosphorescence if h nu f is a fluorescence and h nu p is phosphorescence so the wavelength of fluorescence is more than the wavelength of phosphorescence and the wavelength of light absorbed is still more so this is the light absorbed by the molecule this is the light i mean the phosphorescence light whose wavelength and this is the uh, flow of flow phosphorescence light wavelength so you must remember that basic difference between the uh, light absorb phosphorescence phosphorescence and fluorescence now this is if phosphorescence taking place the molecule will drop down to its original singlet state means ground state energy level now uh, these are the possibilities these are the process we have explained here fluorescence phosphorescence or photochemical reaction i want to add little more information about photosensitization what happen here in photosensitization there are two molecules one is donor and another is acceptor acceptor means which accepts energy now the donor will absorb light from the source of suitable wavelength and will follow this journey it will go to the singlet state and from singlet uh, it will go to the triplet state where via inter system crossing the molecule is here now it's having sufficient energy so this is singlet so the molecule is singlet state molecule is going to the triplet state and in the triplet state 
this acceptor molecule acceptor molecule is a singlet molecule now after bombarding after collision the energy is transferred from this excited triplet state molecule to the ground state singlet state molecule now this ground states which is acceptor is going directly to the triplet state skipping that singlet part so the molecule which is accepting energy can go directly to the triplet state without following this journey so this is this process the transfer of energy from one molecule to the another molecule and the acceptor molecule going directly to the triplet state is actually called photosensitization this is very very important phenomena in photochemistry because certain molecules cannot go to the triplet state because of that energy gap because of that selection rule in in, in case of that molecules this photosensitization is very very important there are certain molecules which we can use as a photosensitizer particularly naphthalene benzophenone acetophenone so uh, this is very very uh, crucial part of our photochemistry thank you